All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. To uh, oh, there we go. Welcome back, guys. We're back now for game number two here of uh, Too Much Sugar versus Fade to Black. Again, for game number one. <laughs> wow, I mean, completely one-sided. Completely one-sided in favor of Too Much Sugar. 15-minute conceded victory. Uh, it, just a lot of questions from Fade to Black. Not only from the landing situation, the draft. You know, doing a support Witch Slayer also not really the most ideal. Um, so we'll see. Going on to game number two now. How uh, how things uh, hopefully for the sake of the sake of the series here shape up, but TMSR definitely looking like, looking like the better team after that first game. So once again, I'm joined by Pew of Team Excellent as my co-caster. So here we are. Well, they already got Engineer as a support, so that's that's a that's a step up. I think it's safe to say. Yeah, but then they go Pebbles, um, which is not so good right now in the meta game. After the nerfs he got, uh, I don't like him. Uh, Putting him dual mid, uh, I, I don't think it's uh, as strong. I, I mean, he could work in the short lane, maybe if you really get free farm. But I don't think he's he's uh, as strong uh, anymore uh, in the mid lane yeah. uh, as he was before. Uh, I mean, it still works. I mean, it's still a good uh, good lane. But I don't think um, it's as strong as um, Team Team USA or Team Fate to Black uh, think it is. Yeah, uh, Fate to Black. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, with Team USA. I mean, that's people kind of do them as for the longest time. So yeah, it's either one really works. But fade to black, as there's no one here in the Sound Blaster Heroes League. So um, <laughs> shout out to Beef, by the way. For I, th I think Beef actually made their logo uh, pretty quickly. It's a simple logo, but it gets the job done. Uh, here for yeah. the too much sugar, the only team that doesn't have a logo here. Bracket stages. That's just absurd. Anyways, we're moving along here. I'm worried about nothing. Master of Arms Ophelia. Yeah, strong start for DMSR. They go with Lodestone. Uh, again, kind of another case of another hero that's really hasn't been the ideal, s not or the go-to even. I mean, it's still a great suicide option, but um, not as strong lately because of those nerfs. But uh, we'll see how that works. It has. It does seem like we have. It's been a while since since we've seen Pebbles, though. Pebbles is a um, staple here on the Han competitive scene, really. But you're right. Obviously, those nerfs definitely took a hit with him. So, Rally is going to be the final pick, actually. For TMSR. So as yeah. far as that goes, could be suicide, could be middle option. We'll see. You're lagging a lot. I can't. I am lagging a lot. Words. Yeah. Or maybe it's me. Maybe, maybe it's it me. is you. Uh, things look fun on my end. I mean, want maybe try recalling the Skype. Yeah, you should. Okay, let's do that real quickly. Da, 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 da. All right. Give him another call. There we go. Hello. Yeah, no. No, it's perfect. Sounds good. All right. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes it just takes uh, just takes a recall. All right. Yeah. Anyways, so rally the final pick, and now we're moving on with the bands. So the uh, what do we have? Wretched Act, Corrupted Disciple, Fade, and Predator so far. A couple of carry options banned out by TMSR. There's Dampier banned, actually. Now the yeah. final one from TMSR. Pretty pretty standard bands here coming out. Uh, we're gonna see TTS probably gonna go the most standard thing you can do in Hon the two two one with uh, Lodestone's uh, Lodestone on the suicide lane. They then they're just gonna pick up a hard carry here on the short lane. Try to try to farm that. Um, I don't think it works uh, anymore. Uh, I mean, my own team we play, we played it a lot, uh, and we just feel it, it's not as strong anymore. Um, going this uh, early like. Burst heavy heroes like Peb and Load, uh, they are just way too nerfed, and it uh, there's so many counters to them. So yeah. um, I like TMSR's draft a lot more here, uh, especially with the Ophelia and Moa. Um, you have two global uh, global heals. Uh, yeah. Mo Moa isn't heal, but it saves you. It's same idea. Yeah. Yeah. So so I like that uh, the TMSR lineup a lot more. Well, these trio of heroes right here, especially. I mean, this is the, like really when State Green especially was dominant. I mean, these three heroes were like the go-to big hero combinations. <laughs> yeah. If you get especially all three, let alone two of them together. So, yeah, this is a, a strong, strong setup, no doubt. I also like TMSR. They went with the very carry-heavy bands, of course, the Corrupted Predator and Sandry. So. The options in that sense definitely taken out a little bit here. Now I know they they ran Swift Blade actually in the group stages uh, one match uh, couple, one of the matches that we covered them, and actually <laughs> so I ended up building an early staff of the master on Swift Blade. I found that to be uh, kind of interesting. So wonder if maybe that's what they're thinking as far as their carry choice. Maybe not a staff of the master style, but uh, possible carry choice. I mean the Glacius pick that could be a good synergy with something like that. But uh, 
Actually, also the mechanism of a trial end isn't out of the question. I'm um, thinking about it. From uh, uh, Fade to Black. Yeah, they could. Um, I wouldn't, though. I think it's much more safe uh, because the other team has Ophelia. Uh, he can just switch jungles and then destroy the other two lanes. Uh, so I think uh, they picked up that Glacius... Um, for the Ophelia. So I think they just want a 2 2 1 and then try to farm their carry up, have the Glacius for the Ophelia so he can't roam around and stuff. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna see here. Maybe Moon Queen, maybe Sephir. Uh, they like to go unusual hard carries. So it could be a Swift, like you said, or maybe a Soul Stealer as well. Speaking of. Speaking of Zephyr, was that. Has that been fixed yet? Do you know? Yeah, it's was been Was it? Okay. I thought, was that an empath or fix? Okay. Yeah. I did hear something about that. I wasn't 100 percent sure on that though. Okay, so those are good to go now. That's good. But they go Soul Stealer actually, and act this is now again. Usually Trout was the one known for playing it, but they're actually gonna have Zai play it here, as he's their carry players of late. But uh, they like the Soul Stealer option. Soul Stealer Glacius, perhaps. That's an old school lane right there. <laughs> yeah. We saw very rarely even, but uh, we did see it in the past. So. Soul Stealer, though, has their carry choice. Again, I think that's more of a comfort factor for them. They just, they do, they are known for playing Soul Stealer. Yeah, I mean, the, he got some some buffs. Uh, I think he's yeah. he's got to be more and more common with those 40 souls. You can go late game with him now. He's he's not Soul trash late game. Uh, he's not only dealing magic damage, uh, damage with his ulti. So um, I think he, he can be a dream hack hero, as uh, people uh, <laughs> like to, to, to say it. That's true. That's true. Somebody that could just take yeah. over DreamHack out of nowhere. Yeah, it seems like we at least have one of those every DreamHack. Um, yeah, you're right. The Soul Steel increased to 40. Yeah, definitely some uh, big deals here as far as uh, the buffs that he got. So maybe, maybe there's something there. Soul Reaper, by the way, was the final pick from TMSR. So that's that just screams push team fight over here on the Hellborn side. I mean, that's going to be a difficult team to kill, man. Ophelia, Soul Reaper, Master of Arms, Rally. Holy crap. That's an annoying team to play against. Yeah, I mean, they see the other team goes for a burst heavy lineup, and what do you do uh, if the other team goes for a burst heavy, heavy lineup? You pick survivability, heals, and just push. And uh, I'm afraid, Breaky, this might be another 15 minutes easy. I mean, that, that team is so strong. Yeah. Um, they're going to survive the, the, the early pressure here from, from that Pebbles and, and the Glaciers roaming because of the, all the survivability they have. So... Yeah, I, I like TMSR's draft a lot more here. Yeah, it's again, it's just the, the, the global presence, just the team fight presence is definitely there. Yeah, burst potential, as you're talking about, is most certainly there from Fade to Black. And when it comes to the lane as well, and actually, I kind of wonder, are they going to be doing a trail lane setup? I mean, so far it is just Soul Stealer bottom here. He actually places a places a jungle ward aside, so kind of a defensive ward aside here. So even more reason as to why... I think, again, it's pretty likely out of that or even a 2-2-1 two, two, kind of setup with Soul Stealer solo, but um, they are roaming the Hellborn jungle currently, trying to see if they can find anybody, but as you can see, TMSR are not going to give them that option, at least yet. Ophelia might need to be a little bit concerned about that, but uh, he is just going to wait to get the information that he needs in terms of what he needs to buy with the rest of his gold here, and then he'll be good to go. But... So what have we got? We got Lodestone is going to be top. Okay, so never mind. Probably it's just going to be a suicide Lodestone here in the end. Yeah. Yeah, Glacier's going to make his way to bottom. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they would have to, to counter uh, counter all the uh, camps for, for Ophelia, and you can't really do that. He's, he's just going to buy upgraded career and D ward. Uh, we're going to see Glacius. He's going to roam around through mid and bottom, stack camps in the jungle, just be annoying, and then... Uh, and not do do anything else. So um, yeah. Well, for now, Soul Stealer is going to be one v one matchup here. But again, once Glacius gets down here, especially then that's just going to get some good free farm here on Zai playing the Soul Stealer. So build up that Soul Stealer. Who knows what you can make happen with that? And again, some good burst damage. Also Pebbles and Istar. But this middle matchup. Let's take a look at that. Engineer Pebbles versus an Aluna Master of Arms. That's a deadly. A lot of harassment potential out of the Hellborn side. Uh, you, do you see any hope here for the Pebbles' NG lane, or you think TMSR should have a good time here? 
I mean, it's really hard. If they catch them out of position, that's for sure a kill. I mean, it's two squishy heroes, but the problem is, uh, will you be able to catch them other, uh, uh, out of position? Yeah. Not really. I mean, it's they're going to harass you so much, so you, you, you're going to be afraid to go up on the lane. Uh, on top of that, they know they are playing against Ophelia. Um, th that's another factor. So yeah. uh, it's gonna be hard here for for TTS. That's why I feel like Pebbles isn't such such a strong hero anymore. You can't really get that 100% kill in the mid lane. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's gonna be hard for you. He also this matchup. You see right here the minus armor. He's already solo on the armor in the first place. So a lot of extra damage coming on the Pebbles here. And he is feeling it right off the bat. So he's gonna use the health potion. He's gonna be fine for now. But uh, the kill potential here on the Hellborn side is most certainly there at that middle lane. The top lane matchup: Lodestone versus a Soul Reaper. Haxorim playing the Soul Reaper here. Lodestone being played by Jeppins. Uh, so far, you got a seven and three Lodestone. You have a seven and one Soul Reaper. So actually, seems like Lodestone's actually managing his own. But maybe as his levels start adding up, might not be the same. Um, you think Soul Reaper should should win this top lane matchup here? Yeah, for sure. Load is out of region now, as you can see, so he, he needs to play passive now. Hexer is going to get 100% free farm. Load, load can only get uh, experience pretty much, yeah. uh, as well as the Ophelia factor. When Ophelia hits level 5, they're going to start pushing the tower. He won't be able to get any creep kill, so uh, Soul Reaper should win that for sure. Yeah, definitely something that uh, he is going to have a difficult time with now, especially without uh, that region like you're talking about on Jepin, So. Uh, he's just really hugging the tower at this point. Haxorin's going to start pushing up the lane here, so at least some experience will now go for Lowstone, at least ideally. In fact, hits level 4 right there. But it does need to be careful at the same time. Take some good burst from that heal as well as some auto attack. So. Bottom lane, Soul Stealer. I'm sure his farm has progressed. Well, actually, not really. 8 and 5. Wow. It, uh, wow. <laughs> Soul Stealer's farm is struggling, man. I'm a little surprised by that. He is uh, picking up a couple right here. It is Soul. Obviously, he's out he usually gets up to slow starts because of the amount of souls you get, but. I don't know, I guess I, th I thought it would be, even in a 1v1 match, I'd be figuring he'd be able to have a decent time, but actually he's going to apply some good damage into Rally. No, the double demon hand. Second one missed as Rally compelled away. I don't think it would have been a kill anyways, but missed a little bit of extra damage there. But, uh, I mean, are you surprised as I am that Soul Stealer maybe not as? Uh, I mean, not control. really. I mean, it's kind of hard in the beginning. If you don't get get those early uh, last hits uh, with Soul Stealer, you won't, yeah. you won't get those souls up. So it, it's really hard against a strength here with Hatchet Shield. Um, but he's gonna get them now. He has 15 now, I think. Uh, 17 actually. So he's gonna be able to to last it a lot easier now. Yeah. It's so weird seeing that 18 at level two. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, with that change, so he gets the 40 max now. So yeah. Yeah, keeping that in mind, it makes sense. There's the refreshment rune actually picked up by Glacius right in front of Rally. So some good rune control. Top rune was actually picked up by Affiliate right here and actually runs into Lodestone. Lodestone gonna use that rocket drill. Jeppin should be fine. As, yeah, the positioning, it was a Catman minion, so not able to stun him right there. And uh, Jeppin just using the health potion in the process. But Ophelia start as well. Wow, goal per minute this game, by the way, is not really that great across the board. I mean, neither team is really doing that well as far as GPM is concerned. Soul Reaper is up there at 270, but even him, I mean, having a lead 270 GPM, it is only four and a half minutes in, so still very early on, but seems like uh, there's some missed uh, farm going on either side, but in the end, uh, it is a slight overall advantage for TMSR as far yeah. as the golden experience goes. But. Because the Ophelia, of course. Uh, but I feel like, uh, yeah, the GPM isn't that good, but it's because you have such a even lanes. Uh, I feel like Trollop has been pulling and stacking a bit too much here in the bottom lane. Uh, I feel like he's, he should try focus more on keeping the Rally out, because Rally is getting uh, pretty okay farm, and it's preventing uh, Soul Stealer from, from totally free farming. So yeah. uh, he, He's been doing a lot of double stacks, as you can see, and not triple stacks. Uh, so I, feel, I felt like if he maybe waited for the triple stacks and then go, uh, went to pull so he can harass Rally a bit, mm -hmm. uh, I felt like Soul Stealer w would have been in a much better position right now. Yeah. Well, for now, uh, he is doing that stack, as you mentioned, so we'll see after he cleans up that, where it goes from there, but... Four and a half minutes in against still very early on. Apparently Hacks were now getting a couple of DC signs, so just wants to get that issue figured out, and uh, we should be good to go here pretty shortly. Uh, so, again, if you happen to be just tuning in, yeah, I mean, you're not tuning in late necessarily. It's, this is game number two, and, yes, it is a one nothing lead in favor of TMSR. Our first it's game was a 15-minute concede victory for TMSR. 
So uh, fade to black, definitely having to kind of recover here in game number two, but very early on in this one, obviously. And uh, still anything can most certainly happen. So, But uh, as far as the start goes and the team makeup, definitely leaning towards TMSR, but again, anything can happen. So we'll have to wait and see. Soul Stealer is level five now, and definitely a snowball hero himself, as we like to refer to. I think he might still be having some issues here. So I'm going to throw the pause. It's the USC server, right? Yeah. Technical issues, as uh, as Moon Meander puts it. Winner of this going to be playing Lions. Again, the round of a schedule here for you guys. Showing on your screen. So this is uh, this is going to be the final match to, or today here as far as the Sound Blaster Heroes League coverage goes. Tomorrow, going to be covering on Coldcast. Uh, it'll start with Internet Gangsters versus Denial Esports. And then that is followed by Stay Green versus Justice League. So a hell of a day tomorrow over there on Coldcast. And then, of course, that follows into the losers bracket the following day and so on. Every single game going to be covered between Honcast and Coldcast here for the Sound Blaster Heroes League. So we got a lot of, lot of content to look forward to, and that's been happening. Well, what about, I mean, has it been, would you say it's been nice having Han Tour off for a little bit here, or would you rather just get back into Han Tour again? I mean, if, if, if we can get the events going all the time, so Han Tour needs to rest, of course it's great. Yeah. Uh, I don't really miss it. Like, it's it's good to have some other tournaments. Uh, but of course, Han Tour is nice to have, but I think, yeah, I think like Dream, that, uh, Dreamhack tournament, the, the Sound Blaster tournament, it, it's nice. So yeah. you don't like, you, you don't have to like, okay, now we have Han Tour, now we have Han Tour. Now it's nice yeah. to have something different, you know. It's not it's not fun eating the same pizza every time. Like, you want a different one, you know. Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, I, I get kind of sick of only eating capricciosa, as we call it in Sweden. It's with mushrooms. Yeah, gross. It's decent. But not all the time, you know. You want maybe a kebab pizza or something yeah, else. Yeah, so. something. Variety, yeah. yeah. So shout out to Beef for, for making this event great. Yeah. yeah, he's definitely done a great job of putting this together. Uh, no doubt, no doubt. Just there's all the credit in the world. And then, of course, yeah. the Sound Blaster for uh, putting up the money especially. So, All right. Well, this is too much longer of a break. Might go on a break ourselves here. No point to just keep rambling on. But uh, we'll see if hacks are in. I'll give it another 30 seconds or so. Then maybe jump into a break. Okay. Oh, good enough, friend. There you go. That's why we waited. All right. I think we're good. It's about damn time. Exactly. I, I, that, that's my favorite part, I think, of the announcer pack. Coming out of pauses. It's about damn time. All right. So back to the game we go. Now approaching five-minute mark. Again, the uh, the starting farm. Haxorins is definitely the best in the game right now. And actually, some more, a lot of pressure mark to Lodestone there. Keeping him boxed out, doing a good job of that. Sorper's farm. What kind of what kind of build are you expecting on him? I mean, more of the utility style because of the makeup that they have, or could you even see Light Brand into Grimoire here? Yeah, I mean Grimor uh, Grimor could be nice if they want to take it late game. If you want to push early on uh, and try end the game early, you you're probably gonna go for a tablet, maybe a sacrificial stone, uh, maybe even Icon of the God uh, Goddess could could uh, could be good. Yeah. Uh, on Soul Reaper, but yeah, if you want to go for that late game, I think you, you should get that Grimoire uh, first item, but uh, we'll see here. That's true, the Icon of the Goddess, again, kind of another item that has been stepping up, so we'll see what Haxrin decides to go for. And then there's also Soul Stealer. I mean, his start again, oh, middle lane, actually, we do have some action right here, Glacius Singh, I believe he got poor man's portal getting in right there, Luna takes the lock right, the Kag's done a follow and down goes Moomian here for the Bloodlust kill, they are going to get a response on the Trowth though. So one for one exchange coming out. Engineer on the run. Uh, I think he should be fine. Skeleton King coming in. There's the stun anywhere. from Master, but Engineer is going to be fine. <laughs> As we, now we have a pause coming out from the Legion team. So I guess there is a phone call in the process. Yeah. Uh, so, but anyways, a one for one exchange. Bloodlust kill in favor of Beta Black. That was uh, that went to what to Enzo there. Yeah. Enzo and Engineer. So some good roam coming over. Yeah, great Vicious. toss from Vicky there uh, on the pebbles. I think he barely had the vision to toss onto Moon on that Aluna. So good toss from Vicky, and then there was a for sure kill, but a good counter kill as well. Yeah. But that's huge for that's huge for uh, for Fade to Black because now they are almost even. And when you have Ophelia, you want to be like maybe 800 gold and experience ahead of the other team because mm -hmm. you're gonna get so much more farm farm and exp than than the second support. Yeah. Uh, what are these hands behind me? 
I'm not sure. I don't see any hands behind him on his avatar. Is that his cape? Is that what he's talking about? <laughs> I, don't I don't know, know what he's talking about. Who knows? It's Zai. I do not know. Who knows what he's talking about? Um, okay, so it looks like they're good. Uh, speaking of Soul Stealer, actually, I was going to get uh, your thoughts on. So what 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 would you like to see on him? I mean, do you think it's more the it's aggressive portal key route or more of the geometer's bane, more of a carry right click style? What, what would you like to see? On who? On uh, Soul Stealer. Oh, and so, uh, I think PK BKB could be uh, really good on him. Um, I don't know if they want to go late game. Uh, they pre they have a pretty pretty. I mean. He is good late game. Uh, it's it's kind of hard. You you could go for Gr you can go so much builds now. You can go Geo. You can go Grimoire. Uh, you can go PK. But I think PK BKB could be nice here, and then maybe try to go for for late game items. Um, but if uh, if Temasar starts pushing, uh, it's gonna be hard for them to stop it without PK and BKB. Yeah. Well, he's got a steam boots finished on top of that ring of the teacher. He's actually applying some pressure to the bottom tower. Not being uh, really battled against. So, but in the middle lane, we do have this is why Rally's coming to the middle lane. He's going to go for the flank. Pebble's going to be jumping right there. Capel comes out. The minus armor from the good. The lockdown on top. He just sees so much damage. B could have no time to get away right there, really. You saw Port coming in, but it got canceled. The and uh, that'll be the end of his middle tower, tower, most likely. Engineer actually might be the end of him, too. He was hanging around a little bit too long. Yep, there's a Capel coming out. Double damage rally. And that sets up a double tap kill for the team. Bottom tower went down in the meantime, and actually now the top side. Lozen in some trouble. Got the Shadow Storm off. Nice stun with the Minotaur. He's going to pour back Soul Reaper, actually. And I don't know about that, because if he can't get this counter can out, oof. Man, if Soul Reaper, I guess he was out of mana, so maybe it wouldn't have mattered in the end. But uh, he just wanted to keep, keep Soul Reaper alive, so you can't blame him. But it ends up being a tower for tower on top of that, too. So at least Solstice there is now at 390 gold per minute, but it is starting to look a little bit better as a team here for TMSR now. Yeah, they're going to pressure it top now as well. Probably going to get it here. Um, they, I mean, they could get two towers. Uh, they, they can't really defend uh, against this, and they're they, they going to send up um, Slicks as well here. So the that's going to be two towers here for TMSR. And this is when you got to start counter pushing. You, if you don't, you, 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 they're just going to roll over you. So. Uh, they need to go right away to the mid tower and try to take that out. Yeah, you see right here, not much of that going on, unfortunately. So it's, well, what are they, what are they going to do? I mean, just 100% give it up, obviously. Not so what you really want here if you're Fade of Black. But and they are going to choose to defend it somewhat, at least. Glacius is here, and you see Engineer porting in. So scaring them off initially. But it doesn't look like it's going to be a scare too much for TMSR. They're going to keep the pressure up. The three of them that are here. It's a three versus two run. Make that a three v three here. But I guess Team Asar, yeah, in the end, they realize it's a little bit too much to handle, and they are going to fall back as a team. So uh, the choice to defend actually works out in that sense. But now the bottom line, Solstice is in a lot of trouble. Here comes Rally. The Capel easily connects. Has to stop from Luna. The seismic slam. One Marauder attack. And, well, no, actually needs one more now. Whoa, is he going to live? There is no demoralizing roar. He's going to live. No power throw from Luna. I guess he did. Never mind. Maybe power throw to finish. Oh, he pours out the last second. Oh, jeez. That, that is big. <laughs> Able to live. And now Aluna might actually be in some trouble. Nope, never mind. She ports out in time. Missed a kill on the Soul Stealer, though. That was close. Almost got it, but uh, yeah, but it port out in time. So the combination, just not enough right there. Seismic Slam seemed like it was even a little weak, to be honest. But No. I guess so. Uh, He's got some Blessing. decent armor here early on with that Ring of the Teacher. And, and Rally, by the way, with that said, too, he also went the two points into battle experience over Demoralizing Roar. <laughs> Seems like we've been seeing the roar a little bit more lately, but... Going the yeah, I mean, you, you don't really pick Rally anymore to burst people down. You pick you more of being annoying, try saving people, uh, getting that first jump, so... Um, He's a, he's a different hero, and you, you need to play him like you can't play him as a burst hero anymore uh, after those uh, nerfs. Yeah. So, uh, triple stack ancients, though, being cleared up by TMSR in the meantime, and obviously some good spread farm coming out right there. In fact, holy crap, look at Slicks now. <laughs> he has really jumped up. Uh, he's up at 380 gold per minute. He's actually got a soul screen. What the hell are they doing? <laughs> They're in trouble with the items. Anyways. He is well on his way to Energizer. In fact, there you go. Purchases it. And I guess where they're going right for the Congor pit. Maybe? Oh, I thought they were. 
But, uh, well, they are they? They're thinking about it. They're in that area. But, uh, well, they're not going to actually go for it. Instead, back into the lane. So I thought that was going to be a prime time for them, but never mind. They decide to uh, farm up still a little bit, maybe push out of the lanes here. But yeah, an early Congo is something that most certainly they could accomplish here if they really wanted to. Yeah. How's Pebbles doing? 280 GPM. Did he have a. Uh, okay, what did he finish right there? Power supply. So B Kid has his build up. And now he has 500 gold saved up uh, towards the portal key. But he, right as I say that, he's going to run right into a trap right here. He's going to throw a stalagmite, thinking that he's got the chance, but then he realizes quickly, crap, this was a trap all along. Here comes the collapse. Minotaur's coming in with a double stun. The goons put down, and Pebbles just absolutely melts away. Oh, well, well, let's get it. Meanwhile, the top lane actually rather will go down, but Lowstone falls in the process. So a one for one exchange up there. And now some more split pushing coming out. Soul Stealer, by the way, going the Mighty Blade here. So he'd probably, I mean, I don't. he could still go the Portal Key now next, but. I don't know, he uh, might just be going straight into Shrunken at this point. Yeah, it's going to be a BKB. If it doesn't go for maybe a Dawnbringer, I don't know. It's kind of hard to say how you how you can. Like, you can build him so many many ways. They want to make something happen here. Energy Field is put down by Enzo. He's being locked down, though, further. In comes a Soul Burst from the side of a Soul Stealer. Not nearly enough damage, even with those 40 souls saved up. It's only a level 1 Soul Burst. However, big Stalagmites from Pebbles. And Wilson up two kills right there. And now Master of Arms in trouble. Master of Arms going to fall. So that worked out pretty damn well in the end for Fade to Black. As the setup was pretty beautiful, and uh, they had the numbers advantage. Rally actually compelling away before too much. Obviously, that was TMSR pushing us only three right there. And that uh, that paid off for Fade of Black, kind of. I mean, again, Soul Stealer still died in the end, but still. That was a good turnaround, and now Pebbles is actually well on the way to the Portal Key now. So, very good hold there. Yeah, big by B-Kid there, really big. Um, if he can get that PK, I think they can hold on, uh, hold on some more towers. And if they can do that, I think they got the late game. I mean, we're gonna see Soul Reaper is gonna go for that Grimoire, so it's gonna be hard to tell if if um, if Sai can out carry him or not. I mean, with the n new changes, I really think yeah, he can. And he's gonna go for the PK actually. Yeah, he went so, PK after Mighty Blade. Yeah. Uh, middle lane actually, Deep of the Masters calling a Kazu. He dealt big time right there, only for an engineer kill, and it could be more in fact for a Fate of Black. He's trying to line up the Demon Hands. Uh, that one misses actually, and I think Aluna. Is going to be fine. So, yeah, that was a odd decision. I mean, that was all the way at the secondary tower. And this is not like a game that you're running away with by any means. If you're TMSR, sure, you have the early lead, but this is not a comfortable game. Let's have fun with it now. So, very questionable decision right there, only for the Cone Engineer once again. Coming out, but uh, to each their own. But, yeah, so you're talking about Solstia and this carry potential, especially with those buffs that he got now in the later game. So, you feel like he still has it even with this... Uh, with his build choice that he's going for earlier on? Yeah, I mean, if it go goes like late, late game, of course, he, he just sells the PK and then gets uh, gets a hard carry item there. Um, I, I feel like it's fun. And BKB, always good, gives you damage. Uh, you won't be able to get stunned or nothing. So uh, this won't be a 15-minute game for sure, Breaky. Yeah. And uh, I like that. Uh, and I think USA, they, they, they are in a pretty good spot here. So yeah. it's going to be interesting to see if they can keep, keep on holding off the TMSR push. Well, that, obviously, again, that's what it comes back to. And you talked about the decision here by Soul Raper to go the Light Brand uh, into the Grimoire so that, you know, he could have easily gone more of the Astrolabe route, more of the Sack Stone, uh, you know, tablet even, and then started grouping up and making the pushes happen. But, again, going more of the carry route instead, uh, which it sound like you weren't really, like, against by any means. Um, it just could have been one or the other. But he is going the carry route here. They are going to have a tablet coming up on Master of Arms. Again, Slicks loves to do this. Uh, especially in this role here as he's playing Master of Arms. Um, I kind of wonder, though, this game, I almost want to say, well, I guess maybe, maybe especially since Storyper is going for more of the farming build. Maybe I was going to say that maybe Master of Arms is focusing more on actual damage here this game, but he is going more the typical, again, utility route. Uh, in the, uh, would you maybe like to see a change up, or does it still make sense this game? Yeah, I mean, it's hard. They probably just want to group up now and take towers. But I mean, USA gonna gonna go on them. I, I would much more uh, like to see maybe him going for a Shrunken than maybe a Shieldbreaker. Um, uh, because right now, 
you're not really winning. I mean, you have the pressure, you have the lead, but you're not really winning. And and securing that late game with the MOA can, can be really huge because if this goes late, ga uh, late game, yeah, Soul Stealer uh, is going to out carry that Soul Reaper. So yeah. uh, I would like like the MOA to go go more of a horde carry build here. Yeah. Well, we do see the bottom tower easily falling, and now here we go for the first time. I think this game. TMSR is going to group up as five, actually, and uh, and look to push some towers, or kind of. I mean, sorry, it's actually finishing off some jungle creeps, but yeah, going to be able to make his way. Aluna, by the way, already gets a bound eye, so Moomiander valuing that bound eye here early on for the counter warding, and looks like that is coming into play. Soul Steers level 12. They got the port of on Pebbles. They have a great jump here on the Legion side, so... If they get that big jump off, Lowstone, in fact, he's porting back right now. He's activated the ultimate already. They're going to jump a feeling in the meantime. She gets compelled away, though. Here comes Lowstone, explodes a little bit too early, though. Down with Pebbles right off the bat. Soul Stealer trying to run in for the background. That energy field is up. Rally's being locked in. Ophelia's touch goes down, though. There's a Soul Burst in the background. But Zai's in a bad spot now as far as positioning goes. He's going to be DPS down, it looks like. Yes, he'll fall. Down goes Glacius. A double tap for Haxorin. The idea was most certainly there and almost executed by Fade to Black, but the Pebbles getting killed off the bat, and then the Miss Shatterstorm from Lozen on the timing right there most certainly hurt them. And now you look at TMSR. They're a lot more comfortable after that fight. Yeah, I mean, that that goes back to B-Kid. Uh, he went on the Ophelia. He didn't get the toss back. Either you got a toss back Ophelia there, or you got to combo him with the SS... Uh, coming in uh, above you as well and he just I, I don't know he, he he got the stun out and then it took like two seconds so so they rally got the time to to push Ophelia out and then yeah. they just lost the fight yeah so again you could tell what they were going for there with Lowstone porting in with the ultimate activating already but in the end just wasn't able to connect everything and now TMSR has the much Bigger lead at this point. Grimoire Power finish now on Soul Reaper. So he's going to start snowballing as far as his farm. I mean, he's already looking at 457 gold per minute. But not only his farm, but obviously his damage output. In, in general, and those here, the team fights and everything going to be amplified by that much more. You got Master of Arms so over the tablet. 1,300 gold saved up. Rally working on the Porta Keeper perhaps. In fact, Rally almost getting gained to the top lane. But actually, uh, he will survive the Pebbles combo. And it's going to be fine. Another thing about that last fight against Soul Steer also didn't have a shrunken head just yet. He actually uh, is, I thought he actually had enough of the pattern now, but I guess not. So I think he just needs a pattern here. Another portal key picked up. This one by Jeppins, by the way. So they will have three portal keys now on, uh, on Fade to Black side. So they have a lot of initiation again and definitely some good team fight themselves as far as the upfront first. But it's about coming together. At least Soul Stealer should have a shrunken head also going into the next fight. That'll be a big factor here. But obviously a lot of nice things have come together now for the Hellborn side. You got the Astrolabe Ring of Sorcery combo on Ophelia. Maybe going to look to build an Abyssal Skull here with that Ring of the Teacher. That would be out of the question. And uh, Portal Key picked up by, well, should be picked up by Rally, I would think. There you go. Kizu uh, picks it up right there, so... I am a little surprised Team SR hasn't gone for Congor yet. Seems like they've had a couple of attempts kind of, I mean, it's clear right now even. They've had a couple of attempts in the area, but choosing not yeah. to go for it. I mean, they could, uh, for sure. Uh, they could. Uh, they don't have the vision and information that you and me have, no, though, so they, they might be a bit, uh, yeah. a bit scared, you know, That's but... Vision there, and now they're gonna go. Yeah, so they know uh, they know they can take him, and that's gonna be a free Congo kill. Of the that, we're gonna uh, see them probably go to the mid and then top, uh, and, and try to get those towers out. But I feel like if USA, if they combo this right, I'm uh, sorry, Fate to Black, if they combo this right, they can still win it. But it's gonna be so perfect. Yeah, you you need Pebbles to jump, like you need Lodestone to ulti, then Pebbles to jump in with Soul Steel. It's gotta be. Perfectly sync. Uh, otherwise, they're gonna lose. Yeah. Yeah. That's. Uh, yeah. Again, especially after what happened in that earlier fight. I mean, they, 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 that should right there. Now you're dealing with even upgraded levels, upgraded items here on the Hellborn side. So you need it all to really come together if you're uh, if you're to black. So again, the chance is most certainly still there, but it is gonna be a lot more difficult. Easier said than done situation. Congor is gonna drop right here. Token alive. Gonna be going to Soul Reaper. You mentioned the barrier idol. Gonna be worked on by him. Monkey. So 
Uh, even more push power and mitigation here against the Sleegion side. As far as uh, what they're bringing to the table with damage. Blessed Orb picked up by Slick, so he likes to do this. Goes the tablet into the Sheep Stick. We see him do it a lot of the time with this hero. Vulture Lord being controlled by Ophelia, by the way. He has a double Minotaur Vulture Lord here. So he's taking advantage of that uh, tornado, at least. I don't know if that's just because of his recent pickup or not, but... That's what he has as far as his army goes, and they're going to push towards the middle lane. So it's uh, made to black right here. They're going to counter push top lane. They should be able to get it. It's going to be a first for a secondary tower, though. And there is only one more outer tower now the that it will be remaining. Destroyed a hellborn that Tiamat tower. starts to take care of, and that's the top one, which actually already is just about dead also. So. The hellborn have destroyed a legion tower. I'm going to be surprised tower. if they make their way up there. No, they're just going to go straight for the middle lane here. And they're going to force respawn. So. Again, they're knocking on the door. They got the token on Soul Reaper. He's going to be on those front lines. What do you do if you're Fade to Black? What do you, you do? Gotta, you got to get the Ophelia. I mean, if you can get maybe Ophelia and one more in the Pebbles combo, and then uh, Psy on top of that, th th that's the only chance. Uh, if you don't get Ophelia, uh, the, you won't survive like four heals and Moa ulti and Rally Compel, so you gotta get the Ophelia and one more guy uh, with the Pebbles combo. Yeah. Uh, that's gonna be their target of choice. 2,000 gold saved off a Soul Reaper. A little surprise, maybe he's just not buying the barrier idol and having it delivered out, but here we go. They're gonna jump Soul Reaper, so Ophelia not gonna be the target of choice. Soul Reaper tanking it, though, in those front lines. Energy field, big low stun initiation, and there's the Soul Stealer ultimate right on top of Ophelia, but in comes the Ophelia's touch. Soriper is going to fall in the end again. He's going to come right back up. Master of Arms is picked off in the background, and Lowstone manages to live. Beacon's the only one to buy back so far, and everyone else is alive. So, uh, hell, I think Fade to Black pretty happy with that hold, actually. I mean, mm, yeah, but they're going to they're gonna go back in, and now no, they're going to die. Yeah, I mean, Soul they Stealer. don't have uh, full Yeah, Yeah, he's in a lot of trouble now. He's going to fall. Does he have a buyback? He does have a buyback. He will not have a soul burst, though, and again, his soul's obviously going to be uh, cut in half there now at 20 souls instead of the 40. So if he buys back, we'll see if they're able to make something happen. There's the initiation. Lowstone goes up to the rocket jump. The buyback happens. He buys with Steam Tap, actually. Down goes the tower right there. Lowstone falls, though. Obviously, Slicks has bought back and already back into the fight, and now the Rax is exposed. So you have more buybacks being used. Lowstone, and then also Jeff is just using another buyback. So, again, Fade to Black really all in right here. As far as this hold, and it is holding, I mean, just barely. <laughs> but, uh, and they, they are going to stick around, though, is TMSR. Yeah, they know all the spells from USO. They're going to go. And there's Ophelia, but he gets compelled for it. Even the master calls well. There's a tablet's coming out. He doesn't even have the Ophelia's touch. He's managing to live through all this. Shadowstorm coming out from Lowe, so they will kill Ophelia. But now Jeff is in a bad spot. Four colliding slow. A big four colliding. Into multiple heals right there. Loso is going to fall. Energy field coming out there from Engineer. Pebbles jumping back in. The combo on occasion. More so just a chuck. But it is enough for the kill, actually. So he falls. They're still on the racks, though. I <laughs> mean, Rally and Ophelia, by the way, have also bought back. This is just buyback wars at this point. Jeffins uses his second and final buyback. He goes back in right here. Glacius Freeze coming out on the Luna. Keg's not going to hit. And Amumian is going to end up dropping. Sorry, Prop to the side, though. They're going to counter onto Lodestone. I think the Hellborn team is going to fall back. Maybe not, actually. No! Soul Stealer gets locked down. And the burst damage is just too much. He is now absolutely dead. He cannot buy back. They finally get the racks. And they're still hanging around. I mean, this is ridiculous. <laughs> it just, it just isn't ending. Yeah, I mean, they know all the spells are on cooldown. Like, they know Psy doesn't have any souls to work with. And they have so much heal so from from uh, Soul Reaper and, and Ophelia. They yeah. can just stay there. They, they, they don't really have to, to, to back. And uh, they are in in such a big lead. So so they have all those item, items to, to region up with. Uh, so good play by, by TMSR. Yeah, and look at it. Hacks are in two. 5,100 gold saved up. Yeah. He's going to have a full barrier auto plus something else, maybe even a full sheep stick on top of that. I mean, he is just farmed up the Wahozu right now. Or <laughs> what the hell? I tried to say that. 2,600 more gold saved on Slicks, even with the buyback. Uh, so you got Rally and Ophelia again. Their situations, they both bought back, and they still have gold pulled up. So, yeah, as much as Fade to Black, as long as they were holding off there, kind of, the end result is they still lose the racks, and they ended up using, what, a total of, one, two, three, four, four buybacks, including two on Jeppins, uh, playing the lodestone. So 
big picture, Fade to Black is continuing to be actually in a very difficult spot here as far as uh, we're progressing. And, and yeah, if TMSR, they're, they're just not even going to let this phase in. They're actually going to regroup. Was that a – wow, Behemothar picked up by Soul Reaper. He is just tanking out right here. Yeah, I mean, it's a good pickup, I think. Uh, they want to end the game, for sure, with that pickup. And they won't be able to kill him. They, yeah. they can't go for him. They need to go for the Ophelia. I feel like that was a bit of the what they did wrong in that uh, fight in the mid. They went for the Soul Reaper rally, I think. Uh, and the, the fight just got so long, and, and they, they lost it in the end. Uh, yeah. They got to get Ophelia. They won't kill Soul Reaper, for sure, now. Yeah, he's going to be joining them at the bottom lane. He's cleaning up a couple creeps on the way there, but... Going to eventually be joining them down there. So you see Fade to Black. They're trying to counter push here. Maybe get a secondary tower. At this rate, it looks like it is very possible. They're going to get that one, but they need to get back now because their base tower at the bottom already taking some good damage the right Legion here. Have destroyed a uh, you have uh, you have Zai right here. He has nearly 2,000 gold saved up. He has a steam staff, but you know he can't really build it into an assassin shot yet if that's what the he's going for. Down goes the tower. The He's sore for those front lines. He's bulked up. 2,700 life and all the support around him, too. That's something else I have to keep in mind. Not only is just main life. It's the Master of Arms. It's his seals. It's Ophelia's seals. The Astrolabe. It's just so many ways to tank up and be fine. Here we go. There's the Wamba Cobble. A pretty good one at that, but that's sorry for you right now. He is just way too tanky. Even with perfect landings right there, basically. They turn it around on a Soul Stealer, and the rest of them are going to fall. So you said it. They can't go on Soul, or Soul Reaper. They try, and it just didn't happen. Double tap for Haxorin, and I think the end is near. There's a vote to concede. Souls to their bias back. He sells all the items. Zai's just in troll mode now. And there you go. GG well played. Yeah, so again, they, it's obviously they're already at a desperate situation at that point. They went to try to jump Soul Reaper, but yeah, that was not going to happen. Way too tanky. So, that is going to do it. For the uh, for today's not only today's cover but the round of eight the first part of round of eight at least, TMSR they're gonna take out Fade to Black here two games to nothing, and that means TMSR is gonna be moving on to play Lion Esports Club in the second round, and uh, Fade to Black gonna be knocked down to the losers bracket now, as far as this double elimination form format of the event goes. So, well, well, well. Any any final thoughts on that game there? No, basically, talent isn't everything. Yeah, yeah that's a good way to put Gotta it. Got to practice, know. yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely think that show, that that game especially, yeah. I mean, it's uh, there's only so much you know talent is going to carry again. Some of the best players, some of the better players we've seen in, as far as Haunt's history goes. I and mean, we talked about on the podcast, you talk about players like Trout, like Zai, the Beacon. I mean, these players have a lot of history in competitive Haunt scene. Uh, but, uh, yeah, if you're not practiced, it, 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 it will show up eventually. And I think we're, we're definitely seeing more and more of that lately. So, um, they are still in the event once again and most certainly could advance way at least a little bit through the lower, lo lower brackets there. Yeah. But, uh, it is a tough tournament overall. So, we'll see how they shape up. But, fade to black, moving on to losers. Again, TMSR, they're moving on to face Lions. As far as what the deal is now, so again, you look at the schedule right here, the full brackets, at least the uh, from the round of eight. So tomorrow's coverage one more time, guys. We're going to be coming back tomorrow, at least on Coldcast. Honkcast are uh, going to have both tomorrow and Wednesday off. But Coldcast is going to be coming back at you, and they're going to be casting the Denial Esports versus IG series, Internet Gangsters. That's going to be followed up by Team Stay Green versus Justice League over there in those round of eight matches. So definitely a big day tomorrow. And then it keeps continuing on. We got losers bracket. And then so every single day, pretty much every single day at 12 p.m. Eastern, 1800 Central European time from Monday to through Sunday this week, there's going to be Sound Blaster Heroes League matches going on um, from the bracket stage. So $15,000 prize pool on the line. Uh, speaking of that, by the way, too, that match was brought to you by PC Express. Get your Sound Blaster products from PC Express. So there you go. Shout out to Sound Blaster again, especially. Well, uh, but so with that said, that is going to be doing it for coverage for today, though, in Honcast. Pew, you have any final words, any shout outs you want to make here? Shout out to Beef. Shout out to Mata Boy. And uh, thanks for having me on, Breaky. Shout out to you as well. 
No problem. No problem. Thanks for co-casting. That's good as always. Good as always. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, so one more time, Ken, I guess, as far as I deal with my personal stream, I'm not going to be streaming today. I know. I, I, I wanted to, but mainly because uh, for several reasons, because I'm not streaming today and uh, and for and it also happens to be my birthday week, and I'm going to be celebrating my birthday via the stream tomorrow. I'm going to be doing a 12-hour stream tomorrow, guys. Uh, my personal stream, twitch.tv slash breakecpk. That'll start actually at noon, 12 p.m. Eastern, 1800 Central European time as well. So we're going to definitely have some fun over there as always, doing some giveaways, playing some mid-wars, doing whatever else. And a uh, big shout-out to the CP Capos with that said. So a big 12-hour stream going to be coming out tomorrow, birthday celebration stream. We should have a lot of fun with that, and I look forward to doing that tomorrow. So not going to be happening today, but I will be back tomorrow, guys. And I love you all. All right, with that said, Honcast, we're going to be wrapping up. We'll see you tomorrow on Coldcast, as well as my personal stream even. Until then, the Sound Blaster Hills are going to be wrapping up here, guys. Have a good night. Round of eight continues tomorrow on Coldcast. Denial versus IG. See ya. It's time to take your sound with you. Don't stop. Personalize. On the go. Yo, what's up, man? Yeah, I'm on my way. Always ready. Ready for the best. Because we deserve the best. Are you ready? Fight! The all-new Evo Series headsets from Sound Blaster.
There's going to be Sound Blaster Heroes League matches going on. Uh, speaking of that, by the way, too, that match was brought to you by PC Express. Get your Sound Blaster products from PC Express. So there you go. Shout out to Sound Blaster again, especially. Well, uh, I said that is going to be doing it for coverage for today, though, on Honcast. Pew, you have any fun awards, any shout outs you want to make here? Shout out to Beef. Shout out to Muff the Boy. And uh, thanks for having me on, Breaky. Shout out to you as well. No problem. No problem. Thanks for co-casting. That's good as always. Good as always. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, so one more time, Ken, as, as far as I deal with my personal stream, I'm not going to be streaming today. I know. I, I, I wanted to, but mainly because uh, for several reasons, because I'm not streaming today and uh, and for and it also happens to be my birthday week, and I'm going to be celebrating my birthday via the stream tomorrow. I'm going to be doing a 12-hour stream tomorrow, guys. Uh, my personal stream, twitch.tv slash breakecpk. That'll start actually at noon, 12 p.m. Eastern, 1800 Central European time as well. So we're going to definitely have some fun over there as always, doing some giveaways, playing some mid-wars, doing whatever else. And a uh, big shout-out to the CP Capitals with that said. So a big 12-hour stream going to be coming out tomorrow, birthday celebration stream. We should have a lot of fun with that, and I look forward to doing that tomorrow. So not going to be happening today, but I will be back tomorrow, guys. And I love you all. All right, with that said, Honcast, we're going to be wrapping up. We'll see you tomorrow on Coldcast, as well as my personal stream even. Until then, the Sound Blaster Hills are going to be wrapping up here, guys. Have a good night. Round of eight continues tomorrow on Coldcast. Denial versus IG. See ya. It's time to take your sound with you. Don't stop. Personalize. On the go. Yo, what's up, man? Yeah, I'm on my way. Always ready. Ready for the best. Because we deserve the best. Are you ready? Fight! The all-new Evo Series headsets from Sound Blaster.
there's going to be Sound Blaster Heroes League matches going on. Uh, speaking of that, by the way, too, that match was brought to you by PC Express. Get your Sound Blaster products from PC Express. So there you go.